it's auntie lani what's poppin what's poppin oh i'm loving this orange in me look at this fashion over dress it's cute no okay cool so guys today this is like like an advice video Ooh, this, um to all my ladies them i feel like i'm in a really good place at that moment in my life my career is pretty you know good and set like literally i am moments away from buying my first property with my sister um i'm really happy like i'm so happy my life is so awesome um so when you're happy and your life is awesome and you haven't got any negativity in your life that's when you can think the best and think the most straight and i want everybody to think straight right about now so that's why i'm here giving you awesome advice about fuck boys so we're gonna talk about fuck boys and how they ghost and what it means when they ghost right it can happen in so many different forms like you can be ghosted but like um oh, let me go back a bit you can be ghosted but um it could be like you met a guy you were vibes and you were talking maybe you went on a couple dates you had sex and then he ghosted you um and i feel like that's very clear on cut so if you're upset because a guy ghosted you after he beat then obviously all he wanted to do was beat and you need to get over it um and also sometimes a guy doesn't necessarily have to ghost ghost sometimes he can just go very cold and not talk to you as much some guys lose interest after they fuck and some guys just want to just to fuck anyway so if that's happened to you then um like no offense but like get over it it's not that deep and also whatever like everyone needs to get laid you got laid <laughs> moving on is he the love of your life no and also he's a cunt number one <laughs> just he's a cunt but um yeah he's just not a man but it's really not that deep um so we're talking about i want to talk about more deep ghosting i want to talk about ghosting with a guy that you really like or maybe you're in love with and he just ghosted you somebody who's even i want to say i've never got ghosted i've had full-on relationships and someone we've fallen out and the person stopped talking to me they blocked me that's not going ghost I'm ghost going ghost is someone talking stopping to, to talk to you stop stop stopping communication with you for, like literally you don't even know why they literally just disappear i have someone's done that to me yes one person they know who they are they might actually watch this video you know who you are because <laughs> um we talk like on and off um I, yeah we talk on and off yeah so i have been ghosted um um once and i have been ghosted by a guy that i actually was in a relationship with and you guys are gonna laugh at this story so hard but i was in a relationship with him for like literally two weeks imagine and then like he was just behaving very um not correct he wasn't behaving the way that a man should behave um he was acting very shady i couldn't even get through to him on the phone sometimes like he just like he was just really difficult to get hold of and then he just ghosted me yeah his explanation i'm just going to talk about me before i get into you but his explanation was um he was chasing his dreams um i'm not really mad to chasing your dreams it's ex excellent thing to chase your dreams and everyone should do it so he was chasing his dreams and um and like he like to be honest, he's the businessman like, he's doing really well and i'm so proud of him like you know babes i'm so proud of you <laughs> like i am I'm so proud of what he's achieved um so to be honest it was worth it like you know especially if i end up with him he, you know he's made that life for me and um me and our future babies so cool that's my case yeah we still talk we have problems like all the time so let's keep it pushing um let's talk about ghosting in general okay ghosting is a very complicated situation so i can't really really case by case get into your situation because i don't know your situation but i'm gonna try and maybe talk about three situations in general and then maybe just give advice for them and if one applies to you then brilliant so i'm gonna talk about the ghosting where um somebody um you meet somebody um you guys are talking you're dating and you really like them and they appear that they really like you amazing and then all of a sudden they they disappear on you now i'm not talking about no time period but not like really quickly i'm just talking about 
this person's kind of love bombed you really been okay let me tell you something let me tell you something girls let me tell you something it is a huge a humongous huge red flag when you meet a guy and initially he's literally oh my god he's like oh my god he's the guy of my dreams oh my god oh my god i'm gonna i'm literally i'm gonna faint oh my god i can't believe god has answered my prayers i've been there by the way i, I ain't gonna lie but it's that is a huge red flag if you meet a guy and he's literally perfect not by the way he looks and what he appears because that's different but I'm talking about the way he treats you like he's very romantic he holds your door for you he's thoughtful he always takes you back he calls you he's this he even you know says all the right things he wants a relationship you're his baby he calls you babies and you emojis he love bombs you he even maybe tells you I love you too quickly listen that is a huge red flag because guys that do that when when it, when it goes up like this really quickly and then all of a sudden he disappears sis sis now the love bomb guy and the guy who is too quick to fall in love or catch feelings for you and sells you these dreams or fantasies the reason he's ghosted you is because all that shit was fake mm -hmm. pretty much so they are guys who get off on women falling for them they, they they literally get off it they love it they want a woman to be in love with them and head over heels and they know how to do that there's a formula it's not that difficult to make a woman fall in love with you if you're sexy you got money in the bank you smell good you drive a nice little whip you have your own place you know you know the basic stuff and um you, you know you just you you scrub up well you got nice lips you know what i'm saying and um you pick me up from my house you take me to a nice restaurant you 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 um open the door for me you're a gentleman and then you, you know you give me a nice little kiss at the end of the night you drop me to my house and the next day you're like good morning princess all that of course she's gonna fall for you oh uh, of course she is that is what they do it's a trap and what happens is guys, some guys want certain girls to be obsessed with them because when a woman's obsessed with a guy it feeds into their ego when a woman's crying over a guy calling him texting him being like oh my god i love you i miss you um la 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 la, la baby this baby that they love it so initially they'll be on the best behavior they'll be acting like a gentleman to reel you in to get you interested and when they've got you where they they want they drop you and they might not sometimes they drop you dramatically like out of the blue sometimes it's it like it's been leading up to it like you if you really think about it like you could see it coming like the the guy dropping you out because he's been a bit cold and then when he gets rid of you maybe you start stalking him maybe you start you make another instagram to message him saying have i done something i miss you you're sending him essays yeah he's loving it he's loving it he knows that you're stalking him on your other account on instagram he knows that you're asking his friends oh my god do you know what happened la 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 okay do you know what someone actually okay he didn't really ghost me someone um abruptly um stopped seeing me when i was a bit younger and he was um he played football in amsterdam you know who you is um but the reason he um stopped seeing me is because um he was in love with his ex because i'm gonna get on to that one a lot of other a lot of people even if they don't love it bomb you but a lot of people go ghost on you because you're just you are just a meantime girl you're just there for the meantime you're not a full-time girl you're a meantime girl and the girl that they really love the girl they've got history with the girl that they they, they have feelings for that girl she's acting up things that ain't that good she ain't talking to him maybe because he gave her an sti or who, who knows she, she, she's vexed at him at the moment and 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 maybe he feels like he's either pissed off with her or she's not going to forgive him so he needs somebody to fill the void he tells himself whatever she ain't that good anyway i'm going to replace her he meets you you're a wonderful girl he tries to replace you with her he tries to do all these things with you he love bombs you so that you 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 you're, you there's an acceleration on your feelings because the thing is him and that girl already at the stage where they're in love with each other or they've been there he misses that so he puts you on an acceleration course so you can get there quickly so as a gentleman he he love bombs you he does all this uh, beautiful stuff for you you fall for it you give him what he needs but when he gets what he needs he realizes you know what mm, shanika ain't 
and, and Shania. You know what I mean? I love Shania, not Shanika. So then he gets rid of, he gets rid of, um, sh um, um, I forgot my names. Shania, Shanika, Shania, Shanika, Shania, Shanika, whatever. So he gets rid of Shania, Shanika, she gets rid of Shania, Shanika. He, okay, he gets rid of Shanika so he can build Shania because maybe they've been talking again, they've been texting again, and he goes back to his ex. I had a guy do that to me. I'm like, let me tell you something, I'm like, I'm really not bothered. Like, I'm just telling you the story to help you lot, but like, not even in a big headed way, but like, pff, I can't believe I even dated him. You know who you is. I, I didn't, it's not like I hid it, I made it very obvious. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so he, um, he went back to his ex. That is a, okay. I want to emphasize, ladies, that going, someone going ghost on you, who, listen, one of the main reasons, the main reasons, except that it was, like I said, it was never real, is because they go back to the ex thing. A lot of guys don't mind having, having like, girls, like, oh, I just want to lift up my babes. <laughs> Better. Good. A lot of guys don't mind having girls floating, go here, a girl there, a girl everywhere. But um, a lot of guys don't want like loads of girls that they have like mad feelings for. They want one girl who's their main thing and then they can have sides. So if, you, if you've been talking to a guy and you and him are really, 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 really close and um, you guys have feelings and you talk all the time, you text all the time, um, the reason he can go back to his ex and maybe still talk to other girls here and there is because it's not that deep with the other girls. But maybe you and him, where he put you on an acceleration course, you've got feelings for him and he can't be, he can't be having this feelings relationship with you and then be having this, um, he, he, it's, it's too deep with you, he, he, that's his girlfriend slot at the end of the day. He only wants one woman, you know, really having that deep connection with one woman he's got it with her he doesn't really need it with you and the other girls they know where they stand it's just a one one night stand one and done so he does it with her so anyway, we talked about the love bomber okay who else is it this is the one of the most obvious why does somebody ghost you uh ooh. number two the reason someone ghosts you okay i've told you a love bomber is the type of guy that ghosts you and he, he's doing it for several reasons there can be several reasons the main one of the main main reasons being that there's another woman who was there before you that he has way stronger feelings for way stronger attachment for you was a number one baby girl get over it the other one i told you about in the beginning of the video is just that he wanted to lash and dash he got the sex he's over it goodbye he doesn't want the vagina from you no more he got what he wanted he's got his flag get over that too now we're going to talk about the other guy that ghosts you the most obvious reason is because he's a game player imagine there's so many techniques with with playing games ghosting somebody is a very extreme technique but it works some guys do ghosting but i would say let's not talk about extreme ghosting let's talk about somebody who's not available imagine you're dating a guy but he's not always available he's not available to see you he's not available to talk to you on the phone he's not available to do any of that stuff he, he even cancels on you he flops you often it makes you frustrated it makes your heart race it makes you upset um that's what a game player wants they want your emotions to be up and down because that's how you fall deeper and deeper for them so if you are smart um you will you will spot these signs um somebody who is a game player and ghosting you for game playing they want you to fall in love with them they want you to be hooked on them and the re the way they'll do that is to do extreme measures and one of the extreme measures is when you and a girl seem or appear good or like literally last night you was on the phone for two hours and you fell asleep on the phone with each other the next day and the day after that 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 you can't get through to the girl like I said, some people will do it in the sense where they've just gone cold on you. Or they still talk to you, but they're giving you one word answers. And then some people will assume where they just won't talk to you at all. They'll ghost you completely. They'll block you, la, 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 la. For some people, when they do this, it's worked for them in the past. But they are risking a lot. Because if they like you and they're doing this because they're just trying to um, emotionally manipulate Lee and you torment you, they could lose you. Because a lot of people, when they come back and they're like, yo if you air it they've lost the game i feel like 
if someone really, really likes you, they really shouldn't risk losing you and they really shouldn't play this game. It's a dangerous game. It can work, but it, if somebody is a very strong person, has a lot of self-respect, like me, and if they came into my life now and they were doing that, I, I really doubt I'd have it. So, um, it really just depends. At the end of the day, I just want to say this. Ghosting is bullshit. Um, it's not serious. I think I did it one time when I was 16. And let me tell you, the results were Im immense. Like, I can see why people do it. I remember one guy, he's like, oh my god, I feel so bad for this. By the way, if, if you ever see this video, I want to apologise. I really want to apologise. And we need to meet and go to Nando's and I need to pay for it. Because I want to profusely apologise for my disgusting behaviour. I, I behaved disgustingly and I'm really sorry for what I did. I was talking to this guy and when I was younger, when I was like 17, I used to have loads of guys. I used to talk to so many guys. Like I would talk to eight, nine guys. I didn't like a single one of them. I wouldn't do stuff with them. They just liked me. I just liked them texting me and calling me, calling me beautiful. She would meet up. Sometimes I'll say, okay, then I wouldn't show up. Sometimes I'd go, they'll buy me a meal. Then I'll just go home. I might even give him a kiss, then whatever. Like I just didn't care. Just drop guys out. I'll have a boyfriend, then I would just I would text him saying dumped. I remember I actually dumped a boy like that. I was like, you're dumped. Like literally, I was such a bitch. But yeah, so there's this guy that I really, really um didn't like. But he liked me and that was good enough for me because I was a bitch. And um for my birthday I made him buy me this Justin Timberlake um thing. It was like a, a DVD. For his concert he bought it for me after he bought it for me i said to myself you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be the perfect girl for him i'm gonna talk to him every single day for a week and i'm gonna be so nice like so so nice i'm gonna be his dream girl i knew exactly what kind of girl he loved i was gonna give him all the attention in the world and then i was like on this date and i picked a particular date i'm gonna completely disappear and i'm gonna disappear for exactly seven days so I did that. I ghosted him for seven days. And then on the seventh day, and he was calling me, texting me, paragraphs, have I done so, um, this, that, and the third. He was hurt. Then on the seventh day, I just yoed him. And I acted like nothing happened. Like, what's going on? Are you right? What, what's that? Where were you? You're just busy. Yo, I fucked with his head. That's what these guys are doing. But this is what I'm saying. Would I have done that to somebody I really liked? Would I have, would I have um, risked that, risked it? I mean, the fact that I made, I saw that it bothered him and it made, it made him like me more. Um, I might. People play games because they know the end result. You're not going to play a game with somebody you don't like at all because you don't want somebody you don't like at all to be on your nuts. But if you like someone a little bit and you kind of want them to be into you, you might play games. But are you going to really risk it all? I don't know. I'm not a guy. But what I'm telling you is, baby girl... Like I said, it's all circumstantial. circumstantial. He either got what he wanted, ghosted you, is never coming back because he's not into you. He's either playing games because he likes you. Or he's just a prick and he's got another girl and you're not first in mind. But girl, like, it's just bullshit. You need to let it go. A guy needs to be either in your life or he can bounce. Listen, I'm not here to swear at these guys. I'm not here to be being ghosted. I, a man should meet you and he should look into your eyes and you should just be the one. You should just know you are the one. You're so beautiful. You're so stunning. I love the way you articulate yourself. I love the way you smell. I love your lips. I love the way your skin feels. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It should just be easy. It should be none of these games. They should be none of these games. These games are bullshit. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make, guys, is if he's ghosting you, tell him to fuck right off. Tell him to kick rocks. Don't be crying over these guys. Don't be crying over these niggas. Look fly like me. Listen, you think a guy could be playing games with me where I'm at, where I'm at in my life right now? My mental strength, oh my God, is that my nipple? My mental, my mental health at the moment is at an all-time high. It's at an all-time high.